No, seriously. When I put vacuum cleaner into the Getty image search box, I also got a lot of pictures of the Hoover Dam. Date of birth August 13, 1987, 2017, line 52 games, 41.1 IP, 3.92 era, 5,426 KBB 2017 value 0 0.5 BWAR 2017 salary $900,000 snake pit rating 4.40 2017 analysis whether it was Hoover sucks or Hoover cleans up, snake pit writers always sat up and took notice whenever JJ entered a game. All told, the results were generally better than worse, with an era of 123. By that metric, you could say he deserved a higher mark than 4.4, and that Hoover flew under the radar this season. However, his impact on games left a lot to be desired, and explains his low score. His win probability for the season of 76% was the worst across all 23 pitchers used by the Diamondbacks this year. His 12 meltdowns WP worse than 6% was 4 more than anyone else, and his shutdown meltdown ratio of 712 is likely why he was rated so low. He had an excellent first month plus on May 6, Hoover's era was 1.69 and his WP was 30%. But he couldn't sustain that, and had his worst spell of the season over the two months beginning July 28. He had an 8.18 era, and a WP of 149%, further the Hoover sucks narrative. To be fair, that included a four-week spell over the All-Star break when Hoover went on the disabled list with shoulder issues. At that time, Tori Lavulo said, something has been nagging and bothering him, and he's been trying to grind through it and continue to work and pitch and do the things that we're asking him to do, but we just figured it was the best thing for him at this moment. It's possible that may still have been a factor in his struggles when Hoover returned. He pitched five times in eight days, allowing nine hits and two walks in 4.1 innings, and was sent to Reno after the final outing. He returned for a week in mid-August, and it seemed as if the team was trying to make him a long reliever, as Hoover had outings of 44 and 50 pitches. But when he came back up as part of the September expansion, he was back to regular appearances. He did finish strong, looking as good as he had in April, with a 2.35 era over 14 Sepoc games, and holding batters to a .138 average. 2018 prospects Hoover will be under team control, and will be in his second year of arbitration. The MLB trade rumors projection for him sees a modest bump in his cost, to $1.6 million. Still, a 4.71 FIP, the highest for any diamond back with 30 innings of work, suggests he may not have been as good as his era this season, making regression a distinct possibility for JJ next year. Certainly, a 4.71 era could be obtained for a rather lower price than $1.6 million, making Hoover a possible non-tender candidate. That decision may depend on to what extent the team believes Hoover's bucky shoulder was a factor in his mid-season struggles. If he returns, he'll be a back-of-the-bullpen arm, though it may be worth looking again at stretching him out into a long reliever. Small sample size, but in eight games this year where Hoover threw more than one inning, he pitched a total of 15 innings with a 1.80 era and a KBB of 175. That's pretty impressive, and if it could be sustained, would make Hoover potentially an alternative. To Randall Delgado, for the role.